the half inch. Got the socket here set up already. Haven't touched it yet, still got the cotter pin on it. We're gonna, we're gonna see if this thing takes it off. Got the pin out. Let's see what this thing's got. Took it off, no problem. What's up guys? Look what finally showed up. Finally got the Milwaukee stubbies in. Got the quarter inch drive. Got the 3 8 drive. Got the half inch drive. Run through, do a quick unboxing on these things. Maybe give you guys my first impressions on them. Quick hands on. Maybe read some specs off the box. And then put these suckers to the test. See what they're made of. Alright guys, so here they are. You got the quarter stubby. Looks like up to 100 foot pounds. Nut busting torque. You got the 3.8, 250 foot pounds nut busting torque, and then the half. The 3.8 and the half look like they're in the same body, looking at the box. Same uh, nut busting torque, and then it's also got the four mode drive or whatever it is. That one's actually on the bit one too, the stubby bit one I got in my last tool haul video. If you guys haven't seen that video, check it out. I'll put a card up top. But let's get these things, uh, get you guys set up. Let's get these things cracked open. So here they are. I got my battery set up. Got my box opener. Get these things opened up. We're gonna start off with the quarter inch. Stubby impact, part number 2552-20. It's just a bare tool. There's the box. It's got all the info on the back. Boring words. You got fastening torque, 85 foot pounds. Nut busting torque, 100 foot pounds. It's got the four mode, auto shut off. RPMs, 1300, not, not, probably on mode one, 1900, mode two, 3200, mode three, and then the auto shut off is 1500 to 3200. So. Let's get this one open. These are just a bare tool, like I said, packing in the box. There's the box. Same stuff that comes in it, information manual. Looks like uh, promo stuff, and then the catalog with all the M12 lineup. Here's the tool. Got the clip on there, nice trigger. Feels just like the, the bit one I got. Nice quarter inch drive on there. Directions. You know, I do notice with these guys, with these M12 lines, like the quarter inch drive and the other one I got, they got the directional button on here. And when you're holding it, hitting the trigger, your knuckle kind of want to push in on the button. I don't, know if, I don't know if you guys noticed that with yours, if you guys have these or any of the M12 line with the directional speed or the directional forward reverse, your knuckle will kind of want to hit it. You got to kind of choke down on the handle so, so you don't bump into it and get it to lock or get it in mid-range or get it to spin in the other directions. So, but here's this one. Put a battery on it. It's got the nice light on there. That looks like mode one, mode two, and we got mode three. And uh, wow, I can just tell for a quarter inch drive, that's uh, definitely feels pretty powerful. You know, I gotta say, I mean, these Milwaukee's are, are, are solid. You know, I, I love Snap-on just as much as the next guy, probably a little bit more than the next guy. But you know, I'm uh, one of those Osmics that, you know, don't knock it until you try it. And you guys out there, you know, you hardcore Snap-on guys out there, I mean, give them a try. You know, I, 
no one else let me let me just say no one else you know has more snap on their battery power line than me but uh, these Milwaukee's definitely definitely give uh, snap on a run for their money I also notice on all these an M12 line they got the rubber bumper on the side here so when you set them down it doesn't scratch up the plastic it hits the bumper when they're laying down but definitely feels nice the quarter inch one you can see the back side kind of what they look like here's it compared to the uh, compared to the M18 line in 3 8 that's in the quarter the quarter is almost the size of the uh, 3 8 so the size the weight is is decent definitely feels decent in the hand it's got the battery gauge on there definitely feels nice so that's the quarter set it right here next one we got the 3 8 stubby part number 2554-20 it's got the 250 nut busting torque there's the box back side of it and then this one's got the uh, fastening torque 200, 250 foot pounds nut busting torque 250 foot pounds it's got the four modes also 1200 mode 1, 1800 mode 2, 2700 mode 3 and then 15 to 27 on the auto shutoff mode so let's get this one open see what's in there like I said I got all the bare tools guys because I figure I run a Home Depot get as many batteries as I want I'll probably end up getting the uh, the bigger batteries the uh, 4.0 I actually like these you know I, having a bunch of batteries I don't need it to last all day I don't mind charging them especially when you have extras I don't mind walking over here and getting a battery you know I don't need to use it for seven days here's all the packing this one's got a little so the packing, same thing as the other box, promo, packing, instruction manual, boring stuff, the box, here's the 3 8 definitely can tell right away it's got a little more weight to it, it's got the clip on there, I'll probably pull the clip off, see on the side, this one's got the battery gauge on it, still has the, the bumper, side bumper protect, when it's sitting down, it hits the bumper first, so it doesn't scratch up the plastic fuel brushless on the back get a battery on this one started off in mode 3 definitely feels nice same thing with the with the direction button your knuckle kind of wants to hit it you got to kind of choke down on the handle you know or maybe even hold it like that that way your knuckle doesn't hit it use your middle finger to hit the trigger but definitely feels good Pop a socket on here. That's with a socket. Not much vibration. Feels nice. You can feel air coming out of there. It's got the light on there. Three H is definitely nice. Three eighths compared to the quarter. Quarter's probably got a little bit of length on it, so these things are truly stubbies when a quarter inch drive has got more length to it. Uh, with the small battery in, the 3 8 stands up about maybe a half inch higher. Definitely weighs more though, but it, it, it's not like it would fatigue your wrist. I can definitely see myself using this thing all day without, uh, without the wrist hurting. So, that's the 3 8 guys. Next one I got is the half inch stubby. Um, this one I'd like to use more than the, the heavy Milwaukee I got or the snap on half inch I got. You know, the brushless technology is, uh, is definitely, definitely awesome. So, this one, same thing 250 nut busting torque. There's the box, part number 2555 20. This one's got the four modes, 250 fastening torque, 250 nut busting torque. It's got the four mode drive, 1200 mode one, 18 mode two, 27 mode three. So pretty much the same as the 3 h drive, guys. Um, I wonder if this thing's maybe heavier. What's the weight on that other one? 
So the weight on the 3 8 is 2.1 pounds and the weight on the half inch is 2.1 pounds. So it's pretty much the same. I think it's got a little more length in it probably from the, the half inch anvil on there. So it's a little longer, but most of the other specs are pretty much the same, guys. You'd probably be safe to say, you know, you get one or the other and then just use maybe a, uh, an adapter, you know, 3 8 to half inch adapter or half inch to 3 8 adapter. Obviously, you'll get a little length out of it, lose a little torque on it, but, you know, at least till maybe you save up to get the next one. So let's get this one open, see what's in the box. Probably the same stuff, same promo stuff. So here's the half inch, there's the box, packing, instruction manual, and the same stuff, the promos and the catalog. And here's the half inch. Pretty much the same, unanimous cross between the uh, 3 8 and the half inch. It's got the rubberized stuff on there, the battery gauge. Feels about the same in the hand, but definitely comfortable in the hand. Got another battery on here. That's mode one, mode two, mode three. So I can't wait to see what these things got to offer. They definitely, uh, they're definitely stubby. I could definitely see myself using these all day. Just like I said, guys, I've said it once, but said it before, it's, uh, I barely hear my air compressor running anymore. You know, very, very seldomly I have to use air, maybe filling up a tire or, you know, things like that. But these definitely, uh, these definitely are going to be my go-tos for now until I see what they got. I'll do a review on them, of course. I'm going to be using the crap out of them, so hopefully I can get a review out maybe the next month or two. But here's the two, here's the three-eighths and the half-inch pretty much identical I mean they look exactly the same yeah the anvil comes out just a little bit further but uh, these things are dead the same so but yeah guys that's all two of them we got the quarter and then here's the bit one pretty much same design with the bit so that's also stubby so got all four of them there. I did take the clip off this one and then just put the screw back in. I'll probably take the clip off all of them. I don't plan on hanging these things by my belt loop or anything like that. And it's just another thing to kind of get hooked in there. You're trying to get it down into a car, you're hooking on a wire loom or something like that. But quick look at them, quick unboxing. My first impressions, these things definitely look like, uh, they look like they're gonna get the job done. I definitely like them. I want to say, I want to say the bits and the quarter, they probably house the same body too. That pretty much looks the same also. I can't remember the spec on the bit one, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty similar to the quarter. It's got the four modes on the bit one. I mean, they look exactly the same too. So two different bodies between the bit, the quarter, and then they use the same shell on the half inch and three eighths. So, but yeah, guys, I hard snap on guys out there. You know, don't knock it before you try it. You know, these Milwaukee's definitely, uh, I, I, in my eyes, I believe, you know, they got the market sealed up as far as battery operated tools and cordless. Um, these Milwaukee's, you know, the ones I've had, you know, a couple weeks from my, uh, my last uh, Milwaukee tool haul, They've performed, man. They've they've done exactly what I've asked them to do. It, um, you know, the battery's been decent. These uh, aftermarket batteries aren't so great. I uh, probably won't buy any more of them. I'll keep it in Milwaukee brand. I notice I'm charging these a little bit more. They seem to get a hotter than the regular Milwaukee ones. But I'm gonna go out and probably get myself a couple more of these. I like these size, the mid size. I don't need anything too big. Um, you know, weight's an issue. I, I like a I like a light gun. I don't want it to be super heavy or super super bulky at the bottom, um, so I'll probably get a few more of these, you know, maybe five of them or something like that, and just have all the 4.0 batteries for these things, and then just ha always have one on charge, two on charge. Got a couple chargers down there. So here they all are, guys. All spread out. They're definitely small. Definitely, definitely look like they're gonna fit in some tight areas. Here's and compared to the. M18, you can see it looks like a giant compared to all of them. Figure the quick unboxing, 
I'll do a review on these probably next couple months. Um, run these through some tests, let you guys know what I think of them. If you guys got them, leave in the comments, let me know what you guys think of them or if you're still waiting on them. I know it, I know it took a while to get. A couple of them went on back order in certain regions. Um, I'll keep the part numbers to all these in the description. Always check out the descriptions, read descriptions. Don't forget about the tool giveaway. If you guys ain't subscribed, subscribe, like, comment, and we will catch you in the next one. Signing out.